May, may I come in, sir? Yes, come in. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good, Good morning, morning, sir. Sit down. Thank you. So, how are you feeling this morning? Very fine. Good? Yes. Okay. So, you come from Rajasthan. Yes. Rajasthan is the largest state in the country today. Yes. Hmm? Geographically. Yes. And so, can you describe it a little bit? important profile of the state? Uh, sir, uh, geographically as we are largest in terms of uh, we are a very important state in India in terms of uh, uh, the critical minerals which are required as well as the, uh, the, uh, the tourism sector which is very uh, popular. The, the, with respect to sir uh, the socio-economic profile we are uh, we have some few blocks which are aspirational uh, districts and aspirational blocks uh, but overall the profile of state has in, improved in uh, past decade and uh, there are two uh, we can divide the geographically we can divide state in two parts one through the aravli ranges eastern part is more greener and uh, agriculturally uh, better with the western part of Rajasthan is sir, uh, the desert area, the third desert accounts for it, sir. Now, you are a student of political science. Yes. And now the electoral bonds have been turned, you know, unconstitutional by the Supreme Court. Yes. There is a dilemma, how do the political parties should be funded? This is not only in India, but all over the world. So, what is your thoughts on it? Was the previous system better? Was the bond system better? Or should there be a third system which should replace the... Sir, so, my opinion is that uh, the current system was better than the previous one. In uh, uh, the, there, had, there could have been a temporary arrangement till the time we uh, improve the loopholes in the current system. Uh, I think the uh, government will have to look for the uh, look for more transparency in political funding, and that is the direction we should move on in the times. So, what is your suggestion? How there should be a new law, or we just continue? Sir, we sir, we should go for a new law, and uh, especially for the people uh, who are contributing over a certain threshold. Mm -hmm the uh, voters should be provided the information who is funding whom. I think that will largely uh, plug the loophole of quid pro quo as well as the, the companies which are not making profit, they should not be allowed to contribute to political parties. News very often. Yes, sir. What do you think about it? In my opinion, sir, we can go for one nation, one election, and uh, we can go for uh, simultaneous elections of uh, <coughs> assemblies and uh, the Lok Sabha constituencies. The local government should not be kept under it, sir. Certain parties, particularly regional parties, they feel that they will lose out because of the national issues will dominate the election, not the regional issue. Sir, uh, most humbly, I have a difference of opinion on this matter. I think that the voter voters in India have been very strategic in their uh, thinking and uh, voting. We have seen certain simultaneous elections where people have voted differently for the national election and differently for the for the uh, state election. For example, in Odisha, we see this example in Andhra Pradesh. Even in the Rajasthan, sir, last assembly election where the two different parties won the national election and the state election. So, people and the voters can make these choices. I do not see any uh, need to have such apprehension, sir. There is also a demand that there should be caste-based census in the country. Do you think it is going to serve any purpose or it will divide the country further? Sir? Though uh, I am not in favor of uh, a caste census, uh, we can we have to certainly go for arrangements to know the socio-economic profile of the people. So, the uh, the uh, with the census, 
we will have to go for the socio-economic uh, data also should be collected of the people. So you should, you want to combine the two? Yes. Sir. census and socio-economic data? Uh, or you just want to go for socio-economic Yes, sir. Only uh, the cast uh, this uh, census is there, but we do not have to uh, go for how many people are there in one caste or other, and what is their economic profile. Rather than that, we have to, in general, know the socio-economic profile of the people living in India. I think that would be better. Uh, that is uh, there, sir. But uh, we do not know uh, the uh, category-wise data. For example, uh, scheduled caste data, scheduled state, uh, scheduled tribe data, and OBC data. Category-wise, we can differentiate with that. Okay. Yes, thank you. thank you, sir. Pradeep, uh, I would like to know your views on uh, UCC. Do you think it is a good way forward for the country? Sir, uh, I do think that UCC is a good way forward for the country and I am certainly in favor of it, sir. Which state has uh, implemented it recently? Sir, uh, recently Uttarakhand has passed uh, UCC in their legislative assembly, sir. Can you tell us uh, three or four main highlights of that bill? Sir, uh, the there are highlights. Uh, one is with respect to uh, the please uh, allow me some yeah. time sir thank you yes sir so sir uh, one highlight is with, re with respect to the uh, the divorces which have been made uniform across all the uh, religious communities in the state second is with respect to inheritance guardianship and maintenance act uh, that have been also reformed and it will be uniformly applicable to all the citizens, uh, all the people in Uttarakhand state. Third uh, is also with respect to live-in relations and how to get them registered with the uh, authorities in the state. That also is one of the provisions of UCC. Does it apply to the scheduled tribes? Uh, sir, it, the scheduled tribes have been exempted uh, from the UCC. Then how can we call it UCC? Sir, uh, UCC, in my opinion, sir, will uh, not. We should not be in the impression impression that it is a common law for everyone. Scheduled tribes is a reasonable exclusion from the list, as by definition, tribes are the people who are not part of mainstream. I think they have to be provided this time and opportunity to uh, uh, gradually become part of mainstream, and that is the opinion. Sir. According to you, what time frame do you think is a reasonable period to consider them as part of the mainstream? Sir, I uh, won't be able to provide exact dates, but let's hope for 2047 when we become Vixit Bharat. By then, they will be able to. Okay. Carrying on with Uttarakhand. Yes. Uh, there was some turmoil some problem in uh, one of the areas. Yes. Can you recollect? Sir, it was in Haldwani, sir. Right. Yes, sir. What was it? Sir, uh, it was a matter where uh, the government land, according to the authorities, were was encroached for a uh, madarsa and a mosque that was demolished. And in the demolition drive, there were uh, spats between the, uh, the people and the authorities. Uh, that is the case, sir. That is the incident there. Who was on the wrong? The authorities or the people? Sir, uh, I would not uh, like to make any apprehensions. Let the investigation decide who was on the wrong. But uh, we can reasonably say that it was a cumulative failure on both the parts, sir. No, it was an encroachment. It was an encroachment. Right, sir. So, in, uh, it, authorities are uh, saying that it was encroachment, but the matter is uh, sub -judice. Uh We do not know the final uh, uh, reasons behind the whether it was a uh, correct assessment made by the authorities. If it is, it was encroachment, it was wrong on the part of people. I think even the High Court had passed a judgment for removal of that encroachment. Yes, sir. In the past, there was this High Court order. Right? Yes, sir. Okay. What do you understand by rat hole miners? 
सर रेड और माइनर्स एज ऑफ टुडे आर इलीगल माइनिंग एक्टिविटीज इन इंडिया स्पेशली इन द नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न पार्ट्स वेयर पीपल डिग स्मॉल होल्स इन टू दी साइड्स ऑफ द माउंटेन एंड गो इन टू दोज नैरो स्पेसिस एंड टेक आउट द कोल और द मिनरल्स विच आर देयर अंडर द सरफेस सर they were the savior in one of the operations recently right sir i yes sir it was with respect to uh, the tunnel uh, which was which collapsed in uh, uttarakhand and uh, the red hole miners were uh, the key elements uh, or the people who dug the last 12 meters or so stretch of the uh, tunnel sir you have psir as your optional no? coming to north east what do you think is the main issue uh, as far as the border between myanmar and uh, manipur is concerned and what is the recent decision which has been taken by the government of india sir uh, with the india and uh, myanmar border there is a free movement regime which was operationalized in 2016 the manipur government uh, argues that there is illegal migration into the territories and which has resulted or with the people were also part of recent clashes in manipur so uh, recently a minister ministry of home affairs have decided to suspend the uh, free movement regime between india and myanmar sir okay my final question to you is uh, regarding maldives what is the latest sir a latest uh, in terms of india maldives relations so one is uh, that there is a political party who has come to power with the main slogan of india out uh, that is a uh, new development in india Mal- maldives relations second is with respect to the spat uh, or the comments made by the part the members of government there with respect to uh, the no, i was interested in knowing only the latest latest development in, in this ongoing spat one is the allocation that has been made in the indian budget for the maldives around 600 crores have been given second is with respect to withdrawal of the forces which are there on myanmar east border 15th march have been decided as the date of final withdrawal so these two is it are... march or may sorry sir i don't have one sorry okay thank you <clears throat> pradeep yes, you are doing quite well shall i ask you a question you have you uh, know your first preference is 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 yes second is IPS. yes second out of the two if I was to ask you a question which between the two which you will choose IAS. IAS. good tomorrow you become the district magistrate of Dosa Dosa is a district yes, sir. where it is just enabling uh, in uh, adjacent to jaipur sir in jaipur. rajasthan what is going to be your core function as a district magistrate with respect to uh, dosa district sir obviously you are the district magistrate of dosa yes so what is going to be your core function as a district magistrate primarily it will uh, be with respect to the implementation of a central and state uh, so state one, schemes implementation of central and state policies two secondly will be with respect to the adjudication of uh, civil disputes petty civil disputes as a magistrate civil disputes so you will be a civil judge uh, there are uh, there are different powers with which i have been given to a district magistrate other than the uh, powers to a district collector so that on that you will educate okay third third is with respect to the uh, the uh, management of uh, or uh, or improvement of socio economic indicators of the district uh, that your your way of your way of please read what is the core function of a district magistrate okay. it relates to revenue okay, okay. you can add law and order civil disputes etc normally goes to a civil judge 
only small magisterial powers are there which he has to exercise yes. in terms of law and order. Okay. okay. Since you have chosen this, you should know what is the core functions of a district magistrate. Yes, I will do that. Now, I'll ask you a question yes. regarding the three laws which were passed in the parliament in place of Indian Penal Code, Criminal Procedure Code, and Indian Evidence Act. What are the new names of these three acts? Sir, uh, IPC has been named as Bharatiya Nyay Sahinta. CRPC has been named as uh, Bharatiya Nagrik Suraksa Adhinyam. And uh, the Indian Evidence Act has been named as Bharatiya. So how these are different from the old ones in respect of Indian <coughs> Penal Code? Only two bullet points. One is the uh, definitions of various crimes like uh, organized crime, terrorism, uh, mob lynching. These for the first time have been defined in, under Bharti Nyaya Sahita. Other uh, second difference is with respect to the, uh, the symbolic priority which has been given to violence against uh, children and women in the order of priority. Those two. To an extent you are right. Yes. What is the name given now? In Indian Penal Code. Now what is it? So there is a difference between penal and nyay. This is the big difference actually. Okay. Come to next. Indian Criminal Procedure Code. What is the new name? So you are treated as a criminal in the... Now it is something different. So these are the first major differences. Those are elaborations. Okay, good. Now, you had mentioned something about, you know, UCC, somebody had asked you. There is a something called live-in relationship there. Yes. Are you for it, against it? I am in favor of live-in relationships. You are in favor? Yes. My, uh, my uh, reason to support it is based primarily on the uh, on the Indian constitutional morality that if we ha are of certain age, if we are adults, we can make decisions regarding our life. We can uh, live together. It is uh, I think we have to go for minimum government and maximum governance by uh, uh, making such arrangements like uh, registration of live-in relationships. We uh, are actually entering into the bedrooms of the people. That is. Uh, I, I think but those. Do you are know why this uh, this uh, thing has been introduced? Registration? Why? Yes, sir. There are uh, mainly two. So that means you say the sacredness of the marriage as an institution should be done away with. Uh, no, no, sir. As I myself is married, I see that there are uh, uh, there are different obligations, and dif the marriage itself is of a different kind of union. The people who are uh, in, are in the marriage are. In a, in a way, in a social contract, the society will have to give sanction to such people who are getting married. Live-in relationship is, uh, we s should uh, not be comparing it with marriage, sir. It is a, a different arrangement where two adults have, uh, for multiple reasons, are living in relationship. Yes, yes sir. Thank you. Yes. Very good morning to you, Mr. Pradeep Kumar. Chaudhary. Good morning. How are you today? Doing well, sir. You are from Rajasthan, right? Yes, sir. And how did you get into marine engineering? Rajasthan doesn't join the coast. Right, sir. Sir, uh, what happened initially uh, was, since there was this paper in the Cochin University of Science and Technology for other uh, uh, wings of the engineering itself, since I was uh, pursuing, uh, I was thinking of pursuing engineering. Then when I got into uh, marine engineering, I am, sir, incidentally, or uh, in a way, 
a first graduate in my family. We had uh, initially no idea what marine engineering is. My parents simply celebrated the fact that uh, somebody is getting for a graduation degree. So, uh, but then once I started, uh, uh, when I took admission as a marine engineer and started preparing for it, it was a uh, Jodi made in heaven, sir. It went wonderfully well, sir. You were also a cadet, right, for some time? Yes, sir. Are you still a cadet for... Sir, I, 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 during the four years of our uh, training period, I was a cadet of the engineering, marine engineering batch, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, is there a kind of, uh, you've done the engineering aspects, but is there a kind of legislative framework in which this shipping takes place? Yes, sir, there is. What is it called? Sir, there is Merchant Shipping Act in India of right. 1958, yes. Right, 1958? Eight, sir. You're right. So when the ship sails uh, into international waters, in which law applies? Sir, there are multiple laws. Right. One, the umbrella law is uh, United Nations Convention on Laws of the Sea. Then there is uh, Safety of Life at Sea Solas Convention. Then there is Marpol 7378, that is regarding marine pollution. Then there are maritime labor convention is also there, sir. Yeah, so, no, this is Merchant Shipping Act. Does it continue to operate on a ship in international waters? Uh, that is a very uh, gray area, sir. For the Indian flagged vessels, uh, it does continue in the international waters also. Yeah. Suppose there's a murder on a ship. One sailor kills another sailor. Then how is that uh, treated? Under which law is it uh, dealt with? Sir, it, if it is in uh, a territorial jurisdiction, then it will be uh, by the uh, the neighboring uh, state. But if it is in open waters, in the international waters, then the vessel where the flag, uh, the flag of uh, registration, where the ship is registered, the it is considered as a territory of that uh, country, sir. The ship itself is considered a territory. And when it docks in, a, in another port of another country, then what is the responsibility of that country? towards the investigation? Sir, when it docks uh, into it, then uh, if the crime has been in the international waters, that I that is what I mm -hmm. understand by it. So if uh, they are docking in a particular port, the uh, government uh, they, the, the government there should uh, be able to apprehend the people and they will extradite it to the, the country where it has been registered as a flag. Is there something called CDC also now? Yes, sir. What is CDC? It is, uh, said, uh, it is with respect to uh, continuous passport. discharge certificate, sir. Yeah. So, can you travel with, uh, if you don't have a passport, can a sailor travel to uh, international borders? Uh, uh, no, sir. As far as uh, a passport has been concerned, it is critical element of it. Uh, I, If there is any legal arrangement like that, that can be there. But uh, for the practical purposes, I have seen that we get a stamp on the CDC as well as on passport. So, yeah. both are included, sir. One other direction I want to take you. But, uh, the national education policy also, right? Yes, sir. You're, you must have taken a look at that. Yes. And one of the things it talks about is importance to local languages, right? Yes. So are you in favor of local languages, uh, teaching local languages? Yes, sir. I am in favor of teaching in local languages. Sir. And what do you think has been the response by state governments in India? Sir, uh, I think the response have been very optimistic. The local governments are trying to take up the local uh, languages and uh, teaching people in those languages. There are certain apprehensions with respect to which language, how many languages the students have to learn. I think, sir, we can uh, navigate this way by allowing uh, the students to choose which language they are comfortable in. But in uh, southern India, in Andhra, they're, they're converting all schools to English medium. So what would you say to that? Sir, I am uh, not uh, aware of such a development, but if it is uh, uh, such a case, uh, then the other languages should also be given equal priority. Uh, but, also, but everyone feels that uh, I should, my children should also learn English. Why should you teach me something which won't get me a job? Right, sir. So there the critical component is that my son should also learn English. We can also go for other languages, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, Pradeep. Thank you. Sir. And we will request you to wait outside for two minutes. Okay. Sir. Hold you back for the gate. Okay. Sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.
Yes. May I, sir? Yes. Sit down. Thank you, sir. So, first of all, tell us when did you interview? Sir, it is on 6th of March. 6th of March. Yes. So, it's not that far. Yes. And how was your performance? How did you evaluate it? It was uh, at least a good, sir. You felt at each? Yes, sir. Very good, very good. We also felt very happy with your performance. Thank you, sir. First of all, you have a good personality, you have a smiling face, yeah. you are well dressed, so you know, all those are in your favor. Thank you. Your communication abilities are good, you are able to talk fluently in English. Okay, sir. So, all those are positive things. Now, a few things which we would like to. One is, I asked you the profile of Rajasthan. Yes, sir. Now, you really could have given much more answers. Yes, sir. You know, it's a land of what you call um, well, uh, forts and culture, kingdoms. beauty. Yes, sir. Hmm? Forts and kingdoms, forts and palaces. Yes. Sir. It is also a land where large number of entrepreneurs of India. Yes, come yes, from. yes. It's sir. also a land which contributes maximum to the armed forces. Yes. Hmm? Uh, it also has many um, natural landscape in the country. Right. Uh, apart from Thar you know, we have around the range, you have plains. Yes. So think about it. Yes. You can, you can give a much better description. Yes, yes. Now, your answers on caste based census was very good. Haldwani issue, you know, you forgot that High Court had given that verdict and the government had taken action following that verdict. Right. So it was not the government which you should follow the news properly. I, I, uh, it was I, not the government section on its own accord. It was the government section following a judgment by the High Court. Right. I, I, okay. I think I, so I missed that part. So issue, you, you know, he was intending to ask the latest development, where of course the army personnel were to be withdrawn and to be replaced by civilians. That is the answer. And secondly, that their approach has now cooled down a hmm. bit and they are realizing that India is an important country now. And the Chinese ship is there and uh, that may have a trickle of us. So these are the latest developments on yes. the And the former uh, uh, president of Maldives was in the US and he was uh, interviewed by some channels and he gave certain news. Uh, those are the latest things. Yes. So you went to the thing which happened uh, uh, two months ago. Right, sir. I, I could not comprehend the recent period part. Oh, DMs, I think, uh, uh, you know, you should read, because sometimes you get an impression that DM is all-powerful, you can do everything. Yes, implementation of a scheme, center and state is one of his roles, I agree. Then he looks after land revenue and, uh, you know, uh, Tessindar works under him and records of the land, he can decide on land uh, dispute matters, that is his judicial power. But other powers are with the courts, not with him. And he doesn't have, sometimes people say that he can reform education and medical. Those are separate departments which look after education, health, uh, you say road construction, electricity, that's all separate departments. Maybe there's some coordination work he does. Yeah, streamlining of yeah. functioning. Now, living relationship, I think uh, we went on a wrong track. You shouldn't take a stand straight away saying this. You should point out the positives and negatives. You see, family system of India is one of the greatest uh, achievement of India. It provides security to the family, to the elders, provides uh, growing up of the children well, and emotional attachment. It gives you financial security, emotional security, bringing of children, all that. If you see the Western society, they are all fragmented. There is no security of this nature. Old people live on their own, children don't communicate with their parents. So you want that kind of society to come in a living relationship. Okay, there is some percentage. You can say, okay, family is an important unit in the country and it uh, also looks after children, looks after elder citizens. It uh, binds the society together. It gives them emotional and financial security. But there are some people who want to have relationship they can have. Right. That was actually, that is what I wanted to. It's a very fragmented to. section. Right. And you are married, you can't tell that. I, 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 I certainly believe in the sacredness, sir, but. Uh, you should not do that. Right. I will. You even use the word entering the bedroom. These are very sharp wordings. You should never use this kind of wordings. 
okay sir you can even say that you know it's a private affair of the people they should but you should not do you know marriage institution is regarded as one of the greatest achievement of indian social system yes all over the world so i think uh, uh, basically this is what you should keep up with the news properly read newspapers regularly and on economic and on general newspapers and follow the important news items you can even make a list of some important uh, current issues and update your uh, write up in a few sentences will come up okay sir otherwise you have done extremely well you are very good thank you sir and you will do very well there but uh, keep these things in mind yes don't take extreme uh, approaches you can put forward positive and negative and can leave the judgment there don't take this judgment as soon as possible okay as far as possible okay okay, okay sir uh, don't run into don't jump into the confusion right sir because there could be very sharp arguments from board and then you would be put in a very difficult situation yes so keep that in mind now uh, i think you also read uh, you are political science student so current happenings in the political field you should be aware of both of this go through the constitution once again hmm. if you have time yes go through the important provisions and restrict relations fundamental rights directive principles Temple. Yes. So, anything you want to ask, sir? If I may, yes, just sir. one uh, question that I had. Uh, since earlier I was explaining uh, the here and there's before answering, I was told to speak my mind and simply put to the points. Then uh, address the things in the subsequent follow-up questions if there are any. so uh, for example in the question that sir asked i uh, am certainly a uh, myself a patron is of uh, married marriages and i do understand the sacredness of it but uh, if a question is uh, directed as are you in favor of uh, live in relationships uh, should i give positives negatives of negatives, okay yeah. don't jump to the conclusion state there are positive and negative sides right and you said that i am married man so i am favor this this is in my mind constitution on allowance of the court has given a ticket that's it the registration part he uh, satisfactorily answered so you, you cannot sacrifice the future generation because of your own yes, liberty yes, yes. right uh, you, that, that is what is happening in the <laughs> many countries now yes. that nobody is looking after the children the children are their own parents yeah, are their own after is of nightmare scenario in some places see to sir just one to clarify about this live in relationship you know supreme court has made, made a certain amendment read the other part of the criticism of this judgment of the supreme court the person who has you know criticized the most the cgi and other judges he has openly said if you have the guts call me to the supreme for contempt of the court and supreme court has buckled there actually Dis- despite three four times it has happened but since the supreme court has said therefore the law which they have made there they have made a provision there actually yeah. yes because they can't go against it's a, it's a law being made okay. tomorrow if it is challenged it may be struck down so in order to in accommodate supreme court this thing they have made it there with certain riders okay. registration will be there this will be there that will be there do you think a woman will go to the court and say that yes we are living in a live in relationship and uh, rest- she will opt for being a, 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 giving her this thing some of the western concepts are taken without ramifications hmm. in our society hmm. we do not realize the ramifications and we adopt them because it has you know a fashion hmm. like mcdonalds now we don't know what are the impacts on the health and the right. you know all this but we become as a oh mcdonalds american billion yes so this kind of approach is happening in many sectors this is one of those sectors right okay so wish you good luck he will do very well yes Just think about the thing sometimes and then uh, okay okay thank you thank you sir so uh, may i know the name of the other person you know you can go to the youtube the youtube read this okay so uh, one i can often remember there is a person from jnu 
who has you know given very many logical reasons